The first time I wrote a novel, The Best Laid Plans, I, when I finished the manuscript, I had no idea whether I'd written anything worthy of anyone's time. I, I really didn't know. And I think that's a feeling a lot of writers have when they finish laboring over a manuscript. They are far too close to it to have any sense of perspective on what they have written. I did what most writers do. I sent out dozens and dozens and dozens of query letters and plot synopses and sample chapters to agents and publishers. And in my wildest dreams, I sat back and I waited for the feeding frenzy to ensue over my debut blockbuster novel. And of course, uh, I waited and waited and diligently followed up. And the feeding frenzy seemed to be taking some time to get started. And after a year of doing that, I had not even made a big enough impression on the publishing establishment to generate an automated rejection letter. I didn't get any rejection letters. Uh, so uh, I decided that there was no evidence to suggest that were I to continue those efforts, there would be any change in the outcome. So after a year of doing that, I decided to build an audience for it on my own and to self-publish it. And that's, uh, that's what I did. I podcast the entire novel. Uh, chapter by chapter and made it available for free on iTunes. I was less interested in book sales. I was more interested in the validation of the story uh, because I really didn't know that I'd written a real novel. And a lot of people have said, gee, you must have been so dedicated to your story. You must have been so certain of your story that you pushed it to get it, to get it out there. And that really wasn't it at all. It was because I didn't know what I had written that I wanted to get it out so that I could find out from other more objective people who didn't have a stake in my, <laughs> my well-being, like my wife and family, and, and who all said they liked the book, but I'm not sure I trusted their, their judgment on it. Uh, so it was the podcast audience and uh, the feedback I got to the book when it was self-published from people I didn't know, in a way, seemed more meaningful to me than, than comments, supportive comments from my friends and family.